I am back. I have something something very interesting to talk about. Uh, I I didn't even know this is, existed, and I think it was a pretty good idea. The WWE has put has started well has uh, had had a reality show out. I don't know if it's still out. It's called WWE Legends House, and I think it's pretty cool. I uh, I ran across this on YouTube. I don't know. I forgot how I ran across it. I think I was, yeah, I, I looked up. I saw a Tony Atlas video, and I said, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I remember Tony Atlas. I remember a little bit of, of Tony Atlas uh, growing up in the 80s, watching wrestling. I, I saw a little bit of him. And he stuck out to me when I did see him. Uh, had a very uh, was a bodybuilder. Was probably like one of the first black wrestlers I ever saw. So I was intrigued by him. And uh, not and you know, and uh, I think he grew up in Alabama also, uh, or Georgia, or Columbus, Georgia, or something. You know. Anyway, um, so I I I. I I start. I I, I I I come across WWE Legends House, and it was very interesting because it had all these wrestling legends that I grew up watching, all living together, and I'm like, this is gonna be interesting. Wow! And I saw a little snippet of it where <laughs> where they was all inside a room being interviewed by uh, Jerry Lawler. And they were talking about, and they was, and he was talking to uh, Tony Atlas about, you know, his confrontation with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And I'm like, wow, that was pretty cool. I mean, that was, uh, well, they had they had an altercation, and that was kind of like crazy. And I'm like, oh wow. But you know what? This is so great. This is this is so great for me, man, because I, I I didn't think that this this existed in. These wrestlers are the wrestlers that I'm interested in. And I must say, man, they have a, a lot of them look old, like Roddy Piper. Wow, man. He looks mega old, man. I'm like, oh, my God. I, I start getting depressed like, damn, I'm getting old. If Roddy Piper looking old like that, I'm like, damn, man, I'm getting fucking old. Shit. I didn't think Roddy Piper Damn, Roddy Piper, damn, look, look 70 in his mid 70s, man. I'm like, shit. Jesus Christ. I didn't, I, 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 I didn't expect him to look that old. Uh, it's kind of depressing because I, I still remember the young looking Roddy Piper, man. Um, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I, I, I don't know if you guys are are up on this, but. It's called, it's the WWE series. It's like a reality show called the uh, WWE Legends House. I'm watching season one. I just got through watching season one, episode one. And who's all in the house? Well, the show is about bringing these legends together to live together. Together. From from, from what I gather is they're just bringing these WWE legends together to live together. You know, it's almost like a real world, you know. If you're familiar with that show a while ago, back in the 90s. Anyway, it's the same thing here. It's like a bunch of legends living as roommates, you know. But anyway, I love I, I love who they chose to um, to live together. We have, um, uh, what's his name? We have uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, pretty cool wrestler. Oh, with the big 4x4 and the uh, American flag running in the ring. I mean, these are very iconic wrestlers, man, that I grew up on, grew up watching, man. And I, I miss those days so much. That's why, you know, I'm, I, I think I'm really going to get into this uh, show. So we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And the thing that's good about this show is we get to know we get to know these characters outside of the wrestling ring, and we get to know their inner struggles and their demons and the stories that they tell. So I think that's pretty awesome. 
like I said, Jimmy Hart, who was just awesome, just was a, a very entertaining figure back in those days, man. You know, back in the days where you got managers, they had the managers that always used to interfere in their matches, you know, and used to be instigators and and fucking wimps and and <laughs> it was just awesome. You got Jimmy Hart, you got uh, Tony Atlas, you got uh, Hillbilly Jim, which was one of my favorites, uh, Mean Gene Oakland, four, Roddy Piper, five, Howard Finkel, six, um, who else? What's that? Oh, and Pat Patterson, seven. So I think that's it. Pat Patterson, Jimmy Hart, Tony Atlas, uh, Hill Billy Jim, Roddy Piper, Howard Finkel, and uh, oh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yeah. So you got all those legends in the house. And uh, things are going to get interesting. Anyway, I just got, just got through watching episode one. And um, you could see that you could see a lot of different personalities. As you expect, as, as you live with any, a lot of people, you're going to you're gonna come across different personalities that's going to bump heads sometimes. Well, episode one, you got... Um, you got you, you don't see who who's really bunt well huh they didn't really show who's really bonding you have some good you yeah you, you had you have everybody getting along until the end when you got a uh, well I, I ain't gonna tell it I ain't gonna tell if, if you haven't seen it I'm, I'm not gonna tell it but yeah I'm, I just want to tell you man look I just told you to line up. I just told you the stars. They're WWE legends. I feel good about watching this show. I'm glad to find something that I can like relate to and watch. And uh, it's a good show. And I think it's oh, I think it's old now. I'm just now finding finding this show. But I I think it came out like last year, almost two, almost yeah, last year, around last year sometime. But Big up to WWE Legends House. WWE finally did something right when they did that show. And I can't wait for season two. I wonder who's going to be in there. But that's it, man.